I don't think the Super Bowl needs any more hype. But let's just give it some out of context. Niners lost today. They beat the Packers. They beat the Cowboys. Two Super Bowl two Super Bowl caliber teams, but couldn't just they just couldn't overcome the Rams. The Rams are in the Super Bowl. And lo and behold, everyone talking about the Titans and the Chiefs and what are the Chargers gonna do, even though they didn't even make the playoffs? What are the uh, Raiders gonna do? Get bounced in the first round. And lo and behold, this kid from Ohio who played in LSU, who got brushed aside by Ohio State and then and then starts playing for Cincinnati, now has the entire city on his back. That's respect. Mad respect. And then and then you it's just it's just misfits. It's a it's an organization that's never made it into the Super Bowl. Uh, at least I don't think they have. It's an organization that people were flabbergasted that they drafted a receiver when they were supposed to draft a lineman because Joe Burrow's leg wouldn't be able to hold up. Respect, 100% respect to, to Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. I mean, that... That place is probably rocking right now, and I'm I'm going to bed, but Kentucky is Kentucky is going to be full of Cincinnati fans, and I mean full to the brim of Cincinnati fans, because Cincinnati's just right there. <laughs> so it's amazing, it really is. And on the flip, Los Angeles, a team that. I mean, you had to take St. Louis from St. Louis to L.A. You wanted more stars. You wanted a better team. You wanted a better organization. You get rid of Fisher, Jeff Fisher, who's a coach for the Michigan Panthers now. Gross. You get rid of Jeff Fisher. You see Jared Goff. You think he's the he's he's the bee's knees when you put Sean McVay with him. He gets you to a Super Bowl once and he doesn't again. He keeps getting injured and throwing interceptions and ruining the game. So you trade for Matthew Stafford, a former Lions quarterback who, well, within his own right, had the talent but just never had the team. And you pair him with Aaron Donald, one of the best linemen in the league. But he's just never been an MVP candidate. You pair him with Cooper Cup. A wide receiver who has plenty of talent. And. But nothing to show for it. Odell Beckham Jr. Who. Was discarded by Cleveland. And a young quarterback by the name of Baker Mayfield. Who made people believe. That he was the problem. Von Miller. The Denver Broncos. Who just wanted to bring Denver another championship. But really didn't have the roster to do it with. And people blamed his age because he got older and older and older. Knowing for a fact that his age wasn't the problem. It was the simple fact that the Broncos just don't have a quarterback. And this is where we are now. It's an underdog in the Cincinnati Bengals versus a super team in the LA Rams. And before people get to picking the Rams easily, this won't be, this won't be an easy game. People shame Jamar Chase like he wasn't that good of a player. And he has shown out all season. And not only shown out, he's shown up all season. Joe Mixon was twice removed. Numerous counts against his own character. He's in the Super Bowl. And Tyler Boyd, a really good, a, a great player. Zach Taylor, so many different names for Cincinnati. Just an organization, a city, a fan base that has been constantly berated 
by bad coaching and terrible quarterback play has now made it into the Super Bowl. Respect. The Super Team Rams is just a multiple collection of parts put together just to succeed. Because everyone wants to see L.A. win. That's going to be one hell of a Super Bowl. And I can't wait. Whew. Now I got to wait for two weeks. That's a lot of time. To see who's going to win that title. Now I'm excited. And everyone else should be too. Because it could go either way. Sports logic.